hello and welcome to my channel in today's video we will be unboxing and reviewing the february 2021 palafull packs box and as usual if you want all the information it'll be listed in the description below so let's get started and see what we got in here while we open up our sketchbook to a fresh page the first item that i pull out is the micron sakura 100th anniversary edition pens which is awesome because these retail for 35 dollars and 95 cents which is the cost of the box itself i mean these pens are awesome if you haven't tried micron yet I don't know what to tell you. They're great. Get a set of them. Or if you got this box, you're going to enjoy them. They are truly crisp and waterproof. The next item I have is the Tombow Dual Brush Pens. The Green Tone set of three. It comes with a brush tip and a fine tip. They are water-based, which means you can have a cool watercolor effect when water is added. And they retail for $11.99. We got them in the colors 173, 195, and 346 great pens i honestly do love tombow this this made me reminded me that i love them we also have a special edition palafel packs sketchbook featuring hulu alice the cover is just so pretty it retails for 11 dollars and 99 cents the pages do seem a little flimsy so i'm not sure how it would do with wet media but we'll see how that works out we'll try it later and there's no sticker so it's a little bit of a bummer but whatever Let's move on. I wanted to try out that kind of watercolor effect. So I kind of just scribbled to the marker on and just added some water to just kind of get used to it, just bleeding out and see how it would do. I did use a watercolor pencil since they didn't give us a pencil this month to kind of sketch with and I didn't want to go straight in with marker. So I decided to just do a little bookshelf with some plants on it, got the inspiration off of pexels.com. And one thing I will say about these markers, if you work quickly with them, they won't streak. But if you take your time coloring in, they will streak. And when you add water to it, the entire color is not going to spread out. Unless, of course, you put on an even layer, then it, you have a better chance of it spreading out. In other words, don't expect to be in control when using these markers with water. Since I wanted to keep that kind of theme that came on the sketchbook to match my sketch in my already sketchbook, I um, just let the water do what it does and let it spread out and I ended up really, really loving the way the colors mix and I mean they just picked three colors that go awesome together. When you layer them on top of each other, they do blend really nicely as long as you have paper that will not fold because when you layer these sometimes it takes a lot of layers to be able to blend them smoothly and depending on the paper that you use it will tear up your paper so make sure you're using the right kind of paper for this so that that doesn't happen to you and that you can be happy with these markers because my sketchbook was actually able to handle it and i just use a regular canson um canson sketchbook so it handled it really well for it blending, which I was kind of honestly surprised. I was expecting it to rip through because it's ripped through some of my other sketchbooks, which is why I stopped using the Tombow. But now that I can see that it's good, I'm probably going to end up using these markers a lot more. I actually have a whole bin full of different colors, but I've never actually used it because I thought that I wasn't going to be able to use it the way that I wanted to use them. But now that I experimented it, thank you palatful for kind of forcing me to put this in my sketchbook now i know that my sketchbook can handle it and i'm looking forward to using not just these colors but all my colors i also made sure that i didn't already have these colors which i didn't and so i think that's going to be even better to add these to my little art arsenal but anyways i'm actually really impressed with this box i'm really really happy with this box actually because we have the micron pens that are actually pretty expensive let me stop, stop saying actually they are very expensive or they can be very expensive depending on what kind of packs you get and they're just so crisp and they're actually waterproof they don't take that long to dry which is something that i have a problem with some of my pens take a while to dry and if you put water on them too soon then they will leak but these dry relatively fast so I don't really have that issue with these and my other micron pens were actually just running out so I'm super excited that I have a brand new pack and I've never had this many 
widths, I guess. They provided a really, really good set and I'm just so excited to be able to use these and experiment with them even more. I mean, I don't even, I, I'm just, I mean, $35. That's the cost of the box. I usually don't talk about the whole value of the box, but that's just like mind blowing that we have this whole set included. I mean, you can do so much with this. You can do the cross hatching, or if you don't want to do cross hatching, you can use the number 12 because it's really thick and you won't have to make as, as many little intricate lines. I'm not good at cross hatching or making shade with small lines, but I'm very, very happy with how this sketch came out with all the materials of this box. I honestly think this is my favorite, my absolute favorite sketch page in my whole entire sketchbook. I know I might be speaking a little bit too soon, but I'm really happy with how this came out and you'll see at the end what I'm talking about. Now my plans for the sketchbook that actually came in the box, I did paint um, and you'll see a time lapse of it later, just a quick little cover page of a cactus because again I just wanted to keep that theme going. But when I turned it over it did bleed through just a little bit so I decided that I'm going to be using that sketchbook primarily for thumbnails. This sketchbook that I'm working in right now is coming to its final pages and I do have another sketchbook ready to go and that sketchbook is going to be way more organized but I don't really need a new sketchbook for this but I do want to use that sketchbook to do like my thumbnails for paintings and just like some concept things. It's mainly going to be used uh, like a pencil sketchbook um, maybe even some like micron pens really light ones because like I said when I turned it over the Tombos did bleed through just a little bit and I tried to add a little bit of water just to see how it would how that paper would react and it didn't buckle completely but you could tell that it's just not going to be not going to be good for water so yeah I'm just going to use that sketchbook as like a travel book and to just do some quick sketches and to write down some thoughts and maybe even some personal thoughts. Who knows? We'll see. But I definitely, definitely plan on using that sketchbook because it is just too cute to not use. And I got to check out Hulu Alice. I feel like I've come across some of her videos before but I'm not exactly sure, so I'm really excited. As I mentioned before, I do have a bin of Tombos, so I'm really looking forward to using all those colors, especially next week when I try to learn a little bit more about these materials, and maybe I'll have even a page to finish in my little thumbnail that I can share with you guys so you have a better idea of how I'm using it. Anyways, this is what the final page looks like. I'm going to put in the menus in my sketchbooks from now on. I just stapled it in there and I got that idea from another YouTuber. I think it was her Huntress. Thank you so much for that little inspiration. And of course, thank you so much for joining me in this unboxing and I hope to see you next time. Bye.